What's good, y'all? So, in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to the Deadly War in Camden um, Active Gang versus 51st. Now, I feel hyped knowing like who they are, or like I know some of like the lyrics, some of the terminology and the people involved. I'm still like, you know, I'm still learning, trying to figure it out, trying to differ, di differentiate everybody. But yeah, so I've been doing a lot of those uh, compilations of the Rudas lyrics and the Rudas gangs and everything, but I'm glad that I actually am able to see some of the backstory behind it. So let's get into it. Two men have been stabbed to death in two separate attacks in Kentish Town in North London last night. The body of the first victim, believed to be Damn. in his late teens, was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, who's thought to be in his 20s. Camden, the heart of fashion and culture in London, with some of the most expensive house prices and biggest tourist attractions in England. And from the outside in, it looks like the perfect place to live. But that's what the government wants to show you. Once we go deeper into the lower income estates of the borough, we start to see a different story. A story of the country's most deprived estates in London being separated from roads of millionaires literally by one street and how these estates have created a deadly gang war which That's is how it is like i don't know in virginia like you can be in like such a nice area like i live in a really nice area now um and then you go over like a couple streets and you in like the hood <laughs> and then you can go over a little bit more and you're in a nice area and then it's the hood it's like weird it's like intertwined and, and woven in. It has taken over the borough in recent years. But before I get into the video, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's get into the video. I'm gonna put his uh, link in the description. So Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the centre of London. But despite the area being so close to the rich centre of the capital, in the last few years, the war in the area has been going brazy. So historically, unlike neighbouring areas like Islington and Brent, Camden's beef situation hasn't been as active as others. But this all changed around 2016, when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back and forth, which resulted in a big rivalry in the borough, literally between groups of kids that grew up together. One side Damn. being gangs built up from a few estates in Camden, which were the Peckwater Gang from the Peckwater Estate, the QC Gang, which were from a road in Camden called Queen's Crescent and Cumbo, which is a gang made up from an estate called Regent's Park in Cumberland Market. They linked up together and called themselves 51st due to their postcodes being in NW1 and N Oh, he breaking it down, down, like really down. I fuck with NW5, this. which is where the five and the one come from. And from the other side of the feud, we have a gang called Active Gang, where some people may know from their songs, and they're from the Ego Grove estate in Camden. An Active Gang. This shit look just like America. A little bit nicer than some of the projects here, but I'm just gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It look very similar. That's are affiliated with another gang called CT1 and NRB, which they all linked up and called themselves 71st. And just like that, the war was now on between 51st and. Okay. Okay. Okay, stuff is starting to... Got it. Got 71st. It. Over this watch being stolen. So Camden is actually home to a big Somalian community. What's with a colors? big portion of them residing in Ego Grove, which is the territory of the 71st what? gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watch one of my previous videos on Mali Street, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with, which you'll understand more in this video. And this beef was on go from early. In 2017, two members of the AG gang, which represent 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st Wait, members. Three men treated in a hospital for bullet wounds after reports of Camden members. Two of the members ran to a nearby hospital, but while hospitals staff was treating the two members. They also called police to the hospital to investigate the situation. Once the two realized the police was called, they didn't even care about their treatment anymore and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them. But the police ended up detaining them and arresting them after a struggle between the both. The reason they wanted to run was because shocked. all three members were actually wanted for suspicion of grievous bodily harm, which all three were eventually arrested for. Now, of course, 51st weren't happy about this triple shooting and they were trying to get her back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate and shot a rival in the face of a guard grove shooting and hospitalized with Oh, wait, is that the lyric where it says something hit him in the head, but he didn't die? The puzzle pieces, bitch. A shotgun. The rival actually managed to survive and I make think. his own way back to hospital. But this beef really kicked off in a situation that wasn't even linked to both of the gangs. So on February 2017, a 16-year-old girl had an Airbnb party in Kensington, West London. You know those type of parties where a girl invites seven different types of gangs and asks people to leave their beef at home? Yeah, one of the No over London there. But a few uninvited guests tried to pull up to the party. One of these people being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend, who pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. But the night turned left for Dotty and his friend and ended up with Dotty being chased down by Dottie. 20 young boys. And when the boys caught up Damn. to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether. Which actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16-year-old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 51st were mad about this situation, obviously, that their member Dotty was just stabbed to death. So they were out trying to get revenge. So they went out for revenge in a stolen BMW and travelled all the way from Camden, northwest London, to Hackney and East London, and then to Tottenham 
them in North London because that's where the people who killed Dottie were from. But they ended up finding no one from both areas. But they weren't trying to go home without spilling some blood first. So 51st went all the way back to Camden to look for 71st members. I found an affiliate member of 71st called AK and killed him. But they weren't done there. They were riding for a whole another two hours looking for more 71st members. See, that's what happens. So why are they greedy, huh? One for one. What the fuck? What's the problem? And found the 71st member called Mitch's little brother. Mitch's little brother attempted to run into a cab and begged the driver to drive him to safety. But the driver refused to move. And he was dragged out of the cab and stabbed to death by 51st members. All within two hours of their first murder they committed that night. And six members were sentenced to life. L cab driver. The fuck? Murders. Then on September 4th, 2017, a member from 51st called Flips and the older brother of the second boy who died that night called Mitch bumped into each other on Hampstead Road in Camden and started getting into a little altercation, which ended with Flips stabbing Mitch in his arm, neck, and back, leaving the knife lodged into Mitch's bones and murdering him. An undercover policeman just happened to witness this whole situation and ran down Flips and arrested him. And now I'm not Fli getting monetized for this, I can already tell. Sub subject content is crazy. I'm not, I never get monetized for the, the um, videos about the UK drill stuff by police and members from all sides started to get taken down for conspiracies firearms and drug charges and the beast started to die down a bit but then 2019 here and quite a lot of the members that were locked up started to come out and taking in consideration that 51st members just before everyone started going to prison and killed three 71st members 71st members started coming out of prison on some demon time and were most definitely looking for revenge with no warnings the first sign that 71st yeah. was really back was on a cold tuesday in february 1 a.m in the morning the 51st hennessy the muffles y'all be drinking the hennessy too i don't i don't drink but i when i did drink I'm not gonna lie, I was a crown royal type of girl. A member called G Squeeze was walking past the Sainsbury's in Camden when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped. Wait. Teen left with life changing injuries after being. For 71st God. members, they wanted someone dead for their friends. So on April 1st, 2019, a suspected member of 51st called C Miz and his cousin were walking down Grafton Road in Gospel Oak Camden when four 71st members jumped out a stolen black car and started chasing them. C Miz and his cousin split up, but unfortunately, the men who jumped out of the car locked onto C Miz and C Miz ended up dropping to the ground when the 71st members started to stab him repeatedly with machetes and then run from the oh scene. After this murder, 71st members made a song called Congo, and the reason why they called it Congo is because C Miz was actually a refugee from Congo after him and his family fled the war from over there. And oh, members so repeatedly in their songs bro. say that they get their weed from Congo, not Cali. Pretty much just trying to say that they're smoking on C-Miz. And as I said before, the majority of these 71st members are Somalian. So after all this, there was news going about in Camden that 51st members were out on the lurk and any Somalian they see, they're killing. Heard some really strong intelligence that there is- Any? So y'all could really be chilling and you just, you just fit the description. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy, I ain't gonna lie. That's different. The revenge for Calvin's killing and his friends are so I've literally said they are going to go out and kill any Somali in retaliation so I just want to make that really clear this is from a young Somali woman in Camden who's 24 years old and basically they are basically we um, strongly suspect they're going to go out tonight and kill a Somali which is probably a bit of a stretch but on the other hand 71st members kept saying that they're warring with Jaleers which is basically the Somalian words for West African people because you have to remember despite Somalians being dark skinned and African a lot of Somalians don't really see themselves the same as other black people so this was kind of turned into a race war between Somalian and black people in Camden which is just all wrong for so many reasons but 71st weren't happy enough I have a question do do y'all do y'all um in the UK that are my complexion <laughs> do y'all consider yourselves black? This is a random question. I just want to know because I've always noticed that people in other countries I felt like the black shit was a American thing where we're like black white and everything. Like I've heard other people say that Americans are so hyper focused on race and that other people from other countries more so say like I'm. French or I'm British like they don't say I'm a black French person or I'm a I'm a I'm a white South African or something like that it's like we do that so what do y'all do y'all do it it's very interesting because I'm not gonna lie I started just considering like saying race about Americans because it seemed like everybody else was so offended so I just stopped and I would just say oh they're Sweden niche, Swedish fish, fuck it. the killing of C Miz. <laughs> stolen Ford Fiesta and a stolen Sia. When they spotted 16 year old culprit and other members coming out of a restaurant 16. around 10.30 p.m. Culprit and other members ran to a nearby set of blocks near Houston Road. But 71st members found them later on that night and three members jumped out and chased them down. Catching up to the 16 year old 51st member called Culprit. Aww. Culprit was running for his life and literally screaming for help, banging on neighbors doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when that just hit cause I literally, somebody is really close to me was in the same type of situation where they my folks got his ass they got him they, they he got out and he was chilling they got him bro 
and they hit him three times. He's alive. Um, he was running, like, and banging on the doors, and nobody would let him in. And luckily, they had sped off, and then the ambulance came and got him. But that shit just hit right there. When the 71st members caught up to him, two 71st members held him, while a third member repeatedly pushed a one-foot-long zombie killer knife through his chest. Why, was why is that on sale? What the fuck? Where do y'all get these, and why do you need it, and how did you hide it? Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. The killers were said to be running away after laughing hysterically, which is what bystanders said. And Cobra, what he was- What the fuck? Oh, y'all are different. I ain't gonna lie. You, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. I kept saying stuff. Y'all got it. These motherfuckers here. I'm not gonna lie. Some of these motherfuckers here is crazy as fuck. Most of it's gun violence stuff. Um, or like, just like, get it like stabbings and stuff. But you, you deal with the right person that's like the big, big homies and motherfuckers be getting a head delivered to them and stuff, so. And even had trials for Southampton Football Club, but started getting involved in a local gang on brass decided football, and unfortunately became a victim of the streets. Now, as these back and forth normally go, 51st were now looking for revenge on their recent L's, and oh. there were many stabbings across the month. Do y'all see that this is just a cycle? And I say this to motherfuckers in America too, because it's, not to be disrespectful, it's essentially stupid, okay? That mofos is just doing this. Y'all is under like the age of 20? What the fuck? Get it together. Y'all, it's, it's, we need to, we really need to figure it out and stop the shit. Early on in September, there was a case of three killings in five days in Camden. One of these being a um, the man from a completely different area all the way in East London. But unfortunately, he was walking at the wrong place at the wrong time. So he was actually walking on Queen's Crescent Estate, which is a hotspot for 51st members, and was shot and killed in a drive-by, being mistaken for a 51st member. Just an hour before, another woman was stabbed to death just a few hundred... Well, y'all done showed her face now. Uh, well, ...yards from the situation. And four days later, a 71st member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes outside one of the busiest areas in London, Camden Tube Station. And for the longest, a lot of people didn't even know what this stuff was going on until a 71st member called Suspect started jumping on the drill scene, calling himself the Camden Grim Reaper and releasing some of the most disrespectful tunes towards his ops. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there and definitely got the attention of me. Especially a song from Suspect called Dugout, which is probably one of the most disrespectful songs I've ever heard and really makes you deep how tapped this whole beef is. In one of his lines, he says, Same place we used to play run the same place his chest got dugout. Which really makes you think, damn, these guys were close friends at one time, and now they're trying to kill each other. All stemming from a little small altercation that happened a couple years back. But anyway guys, that's it for today's video, and peace out. I was in shock. I, if you just saw that I was just, I was in shock, I'm not gonna lie. This was, this was nice to hear like the backstory, but this makes it even like, like more sad and re like crazy. Like when you really think about it, this is insane, bro. That this is actually people's lives. Like, I'm not even lying. And what's sad is, like I said, we have the same stuff going on. It's like, it's it's very interesting, but it's not that much different. Between, like, the countries. Like, it's, like, literally, if, if the accent was gone, it's the same shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, like I said, them, them big-ass swords y'all got. Uh, I ain't gonna say that Mofos is doing shit with that, but... Um, it is like, like I said, when you, when you go to a certain level, then people start doing crazy shit and torturing and, 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 and why, just wild stuff, but it doesn't matter. It's not a competition. <laughs> I promise you it's not a competition. It shouldn't be like happening in either place. And it's so sad that each place it's like affecting the same community, but it's also like kids, y'all are kids that should be playing like planning to go to prom and stuff like what the fuck that's just it makes me so sad so sad and like I said I've had people that have been in the same types of situations where they were crying and begging and stuff like that because I mean I don't care how tough you are you got bullets in you and you're bleeding out you're gonna you're gonna cry like if you don't then it's a little scary why you wouldn't but in, in positions where they're just like hurt and scared and to hear like a song being made off of like somebody's fear in their last moments I'm not gonna lie I'll crash out too I ain't gonna lie because I'm, I'm already a crash out but I'm trying to be a retired crash out so y'all make me take my shit out of the closet 
Um, now this is all fucked up, to be honest. It's really, really, really sad. Really sad. But anyways, y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'll see y'all in the next one.